<laughs> Welcome to the Trini Tech Cast. This is episode number 82, and we are recording on the 15th of September 2024. A little unusual because I went to play football with my son and came back with a blister on my big toe, which we were talking about before. Kind of hurting me, but um, my name is Mr. Charles from Make It Simple TT at Make It Simple TT on the internet and interwebs, wherever you are. My co-host is Akeem there. He is from Redbit underscore tech. Evening, evening. How are you going? How are you going? You good? Yeah, I good. I good. Um... I had a productive Sunday, you know, I got up like six o'clock, washed the car, mm. clean all the insides, everything, and I cut the grass, cut the lawn. You cut the grass after you wash the car or before? After, after, after. But you know people else cut the grass when the sun, before the sun come out, so you do everything before the sun get hot? No, no, no. I washed the car this morning and I cut the grass this evening. Oh, ho, ho. I know what I'm saying. Yeah. Your, morning uh, was, your morning was quite interesting. Yeah. Okay. And in between, I get, I get in my little Sunday afternoon sleep for nice. two hours. So I, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Was a, Today was a good day. Yeah, I got a little nap myself. Um, and I make pillow. Um, yeah. But <laughs> what happened is that... Um, I I didn't know about Terence, right? For those of y'all who are listening <laughs> to the podcast and you're from Trinidad and Tobago, you probably know. Or the Caribbean. Know, or the Caribbean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe the US by the time the podcast go gets put out. Or maybe yeah. by the time the podcast get posted, people will be like, Yeah, Terence is old news because something else happened. But yeah. my inability to stomach personal social media again is um is clearly apparent because I have now I've I reached a point where I have to depend on WhatsApp groups to yeah. tell me what's going on. Because I don't know I don't I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Like it had two social media things that happen, which which is um we was talking about it before, which is Shannon Sharp and Terence, the the police officer situation. And it, it had me wondering, like, I'm, I'm thinking a little bit like, um, social media is a trap. Like, it, it, it kind of, it kind of dangerous for certain people to be on social media. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. not too sure. I, I mean, it's a combination of social media and the technology in terms of being able to you have a device like that's instantly take it out and record anything you know yeah. or it could just live broadcast you know so so yeah I, just, I mean 20 years ago how much of a years ago you know you could uh, do your you, stuff yeah in, you would not have worry about it because imagine you you well i didn't i didn't, I didn't see the terms with you i would mean, imagine you premeditate that you're going to catch your husband in cheating and you set up a camera to, that's yeah. what happened right yeah, she, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. You set up the camera. What is the motive for setting up the camera so that you you'll be able to play it back for other people when he say you never say that or some kind of thing like that? Well, if if you think of it too, eh, cause situations like this could be potentially sensitive. So it could be yeah. she do it to approve to other people if she will take it further to divorce or whatever. That's like mm-hmm. if Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's proof or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And it's just me speaking hypothetically. It do, it do apply to this case. So Terrence all right, the other no cease and desist letter. <laughs> you know, so, but it, in case, it, you know, it had cases where men don't necessarily take news like this or sit- situations like this too okay. lightly, you know, and right, it might right. be violent, violent to retaliate, you know. So all right, all right. Yeah, okay, okay. video to, yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess I get what you're saying. And then you tell yourself, I'm going to share it with one person and that person will never share it with anybody else because I trust them. And then all of a sudden you reach a million views. Well, your video is starring million views on TikTok because it's so easy, boy. It's so easy. 
I mean, um, it was well, I ain't gonna lie, it was well put together. It was some really good detective work on the wife's behalf. Beha- I just, I just want to give my disclaimer. You know? I didn't watch any video. I just hear about <laughs> it in a WhatsApp group and somebody explained it to me. But this man here yeah, spent six minutes of his life. Good, <laughs> that was good. That was good detective work. Taking any tea, he had popcorn <laughs> and everything because, yeah, you know... The back and all in Trinidad. Yeah, we, and it, like it led it on a rabbit hole. Like it was good detective work. It was good storytelling. You know, it should bring across <laughs> the emotions. This Scorsese right. or this how Michael <laughs> Bay or some kind of thing. Or <laughs> right, and then, you know, she called the lady's name and then the lady did a response video. Right, so then some of the attention went to her. You uh, know, and then she come out and she put her side of the story and then... She started to go viral, and it was like a old rabbit hole. They could go go down. I then I, I kind of dip my foot in the rabbit hole and get back out quickly. <laughs> I didn't go straight down the rabbit hole. Uh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. I hear you. I hear you. Well, <laughs> and as your introduction, all the social media is dangerous. Um, but uh, I'm glad glad for you all to be listening, of course. And if you want to. You could share our podcast. You could share it anytime. <laughs> <laughs> you could leave a you could leave a review and you can leave a comment. No, uh, I did, yeah. I like are real serious. Leave a review or leave a comment. It will sh- it will spread more. Yeah, and we, we, we wouldn't send no cease and leases. Yeah, we, we wouldn't cease and uh, yeah, leases if you want to share. <laughs> if all you have a tech um, tech group or w- people who in work or whatnot who, who you know is listening to podcasts because they're serious about listening to podcasts because they understand the value of it. Yeah, share it now. Please and thanks. We we appreciate that. Yeah. Because well, if anyone, we, you know, want to contribute and have certain topics they want to come on and talk about, you're free to come. You know, oh yeah, we yeah, we 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 guess. open we open to anybody who um who in technology and you tell yourself, Hey, or well, they talk about this, but I actually live this. I was like, Well, cool, come let me talk. Cause yeah. this is actually fun for us. It's actually fun. So we're talking about tonight, where we are going into why you can't pay property tax online. Why can't you pay property tax online? Somebody asked the question when they were standing up in line, and we we actually going to talk about it because that's that has to do a lot of work with technology and and it's personal too because. <laughs> I want to first now, you know, why to cry if yeah. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I and when I yeah, I don't want to go on sampling online if I were yeah. yeah. Next yeah. one is we're getting more EV charging stations and some solar stuff going up in um mm, Queens Hall or something like that. We will go through that article and we will most likely go down the same sustainability rabbit hole as in okay, it's nice now, but who gonna take care of it? I don't know. Cause I know where the conversation will go. And the last thing, the international one, because you know we always do two local and one international, is why Apple has a camera button. It's not really a button, eh? it's a, a, a capacitive kind of button that does many different things. But why buy Apple? Why? We'll get back to it. First topic, why you can't pay property tax online right after this break. We'll be back. Well, you probably made it this far in the podcast. That means you probably like technology a lot and like to at least hear us talk about technology. And that also means you may know somebody or somebody who knows somebody or somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who wants a website built or an app built or some sort of technology integrated in their business. If you want to help them out, you could send them to Make It Simple TT, send them to us. And we have business services that range from building websites to building apps to invoicing systems to ensuring that technology is used in your company the installation of routers buying things online so you can check us out 308-8799 you can check our services out or you could go to make it simple tt.com and see some of the things that we've done and maybe give a recommendation to our website built or something like that back to the podcast all right you are a homeowner i'm a homeowner um we know homeowners because we probably have friends you have not gotten your property tax assessment thing yet, right? I haven't gotten anything. The assessment or the, I think it's two thing, two documents you're supposed to get. I haven't gotten any. So I don't even know, like, was my rental Ta- status, value the amount, the evaluation and all that thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. I 
don't know either because I'm a homeowner and I haven't gotten anything myself. And because of that, there is a line to pay property tax because there is a deadline that is at the end of this month or something, right? So let's go through what this says. A concerned Deborah Agong from Digo Martin stood at the back of the line stretching from the entrance of the Inland Revenue Office in, at Government Plaza to the waterfall in the middle of the courtyard. When used the reporters on September 12th, were there to, she was there to pay her property tax, but the line was daunting. Knowing the rate at which government office operated, she wondered if her lunch hour would be enough to get inside the office and make the payment. The line hasn't been moving. I think one or two people, blah, 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 blah. Furthermore, she said, I don't line up for many things anymore, the resident said. I do online transactions with the bank, so online payments for property tax would be a big help. Just like how they have the online system to do income tax online, that is very quick. I think they could do something like that. So we'll just kind of pause there. There's still some more to read. But online payments of property tax, I think that is like a, that is like a free hit. They should have put that in place yeah. because there is, there is um, a lot of other online payments that take in place for the government in the same kind of inland revenue part. You could file your taxes online and all that. Um, yeah. Why, boy? Why? I don't know. I mean, it's, pro it's. I mean, as we read through the any article, it looked like a lack of foresight and planning ahead. You know, because it's not just no online payments. You had to come with cash, and it had to be exact cash, no links or anything working either. You know, and. As you read through that long, I think it's because it's the close of the financial year. Close of the financial like year, correct. Yeah, no yeah, links available. So nobody probably. in the mind was like, okay, property tax deadline is 30th of September. Most people, and you remember, it had a period where they, where they um, kind of extended sending out the, the, ass the assessments or something. Yes. They extended by like three months or whatever. Yeah, and they had dropped it from 3% down to, to 2%. 2%. So that changed the timeline and it changed a whole set of things. And but they still kept the September 30th deadline. Yes, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Trying to extend in that as well, it was like, nah, September okay. 30th still. Now, I think um, on the other side of it, right, if I really were to think about the border inland revenue and all the things that, that have to be paid, I've I don't think you could pay online for anything related to um a company. So like when I have to go and pay health surcharge and and um Yeah, I don't go in. Health surcharge and what's the next thing you have to buy? Health surcharge, P -P -O -I -E, P -O -I -E, yeah. and something NIS, else. But and I no now and I asked online. Is, yeah. Yeah, okay. I could pay I could pay NIS online. Um that's a blessing. That's a big big because I had to pay that every month. Um but you could pay um health surcharge for the year. I mean mm -hmm. you could pay NIS for the whole year, but that's a lot of money. So <laughs> like yeah. you had to be a real big business. I could pay all, pay out all the NIS in a, in advance. But I don't think the inland revenue have any facility for that, you know. And I had to go to exact change because mm -hmm. it have no links machine. And I talk about exact change to the dollar uh -huh. but, yeah <laughs> but the good thing is you could calculate it in advance because you know the amount and whatnot and you could fill out the you could fill out the form but strangely enough that is also online like when you pay it and you go to check your um your taxes in the taxes tax system mm -hmm. it shows that it is paid there so it it viewable like one way where you could see that it paid, but to actually pay it, you had to go and stand up by inland revenue. And yeah, so I'm, yeah, so I mean, I wonder if it's because they they look into have a system in place like us like us you know they have the old e tax system, mm -hmm. some system like that for property tax, residential and I guess when commercial come in or you think they'll probably want to work it into that whole e-tax. Well, no thinking portal. about it, right? The e-tax system has no way for you to pay anything. It's just for you to file. Yeah. And when you I file everything, so. 
this pay via check. Yep. So it's well, the, the, I, I'm not sure if I could pay, you know. I never had to pay. You ever had to pay? F- yes, for people. Well, I never had to pay, but for people that have to pay, like if they, their taxes are wrong and they're over, they mm-hmm. are going by inland revenue and pay it. Okay, okay. Physically. There is no online portal. Okay. All right. Well, then it stands to believe that yeah, the property tax payment still falling on that same system and they just wanted to go and pay it manually. Yeah, but I know if it, it had the system. I think we talked about it a few months ago. See the way you could pay gov- for government the services cro- cross, online. Cross crosses. No. What is what we talking about? Um, That's some. I think you could pay for your passport or your boot paper online. Some government pay something. Gov pay. That was maintenance. Yeah, gov, is it gov pay? Yeah, that's for maintenance. No, I've maintenance I think you can do um. Boot certificates I, and. Well, I mean, it, that that would be different than from um, taxes. Yeah, to, uh, this this system clearly not integrated. Um, I oh shout out to all the public servants because we dra- we real drag public servants <laughs> in the past in some of the past few episodes. And I had yeah. I have, I have some public servant friends who just listen and just be like, oh, go at least tell them to have a few good ones now, boy. <laughs> I was like, well, I was alluding to it. I was saying most yeah. of most public servants, but yeah. <laughs> so to all the good public servants out there who just work hard and do what they have to do and pushing for technology to be implemented. Yeah, yeah. Shout, shout, shout out to you. Thank you very much for listening to the podcast. Uh, the no way. Um, okay. Why is it hard to put in the payment system for inland revenue, which is tax collection? Is tax collection something that is easy to digitize or is there something very complex about tax that makes it hard to... So I to mean to digitize money. something, all right, collect any payments is one thing, that is one part of it, mm. but then reconciling it back to a particular person and the record and the, ho- the, o- the ownership of the house and okay, this payment applied to this person and this house in this location, you need that data somewhere to be stored somewhere in some system and for, okay. for every single person, you know? Yeah, obviously they don't have that data because well, probably, there are people no. there are people who haven't gotten their their taxes, well their their assessment yeah. or anything like that yet. Okay. So that yeah, that might be the disconnect. All of that data might some a good bit of that, that data might be paper based. So if you receive a payment online, you probably still have a manual thing to go and apply yeah, it to somebody yeah. record so yeah so what you're saying is these people that line enough to pay this property tax they're gonna get a receipt but they well, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. i think at least from at from reading i think they have a system somewhere you know that the data stored somewhere so it's probably a matter in doing some type of integration that probably wasn't oh done yes it. yes yes i think i know what you're talking about because you had to go on Google Maps and drop a pin on where your where your um property was. Some somewhere I see that. And, and I think somebody yeah. was talking about um you know they you have to go and give something and they will check the system to know if if your if your pin get generated or something like that. So it, it yeah. has some sort of digital aspect it. So then collection of fees is is our choice. Is our choice not to do it. Because they okay, you can pay with links, but you can't pay with links this month and because of um the, the, close, the, of the close of the year. close of the financial year. Okay, cool. But you could pay with links if you want to. So that means money is going into our bank account. If money is going into a bank account and you could pay with links generally, that means transferring money to that said bank account should be possible also. But the problem is doing the bank transfer requires somebody to reconcile it and reconciling it back to your account would require a portal being created that is going to match your some sort of user ID that you have to a bank payment that you make 
because not everybody going to use a credit card to pay it. Some people just want to use bank transfers. Yeah, yeah. So I think, okay, let me use, let me use another utility, for example, like Flow or t and Tech or whatnot. I don't pay them with my credit card. I just pay them by a, a bank transfer. So at the 28th of the month, it's an automatic payment that just go to them. Because I don't even know the bill. I just send an average amount, right? Because um, uh, I... <laughs> no, I just use the data. If if for six months, <laughs> yeah, I get uh, No, well, I know the bill for Flow and, and, and Digicel, so I'll just send the exact amount for it, right? But for like T and Tech, if for six months I realize that this is the amount of electricity that we're using on average, I'll send that number. When I when I when that payment goes off on the twenty eighth, I don't get like a confirmation of the payment until probably about the fifth of the month. That means some reconciling taking place, and I yeah, yeah. I just guess that the government don't don't have time to do that reconciliation because they have to check when a payment comes in. The account that it comes from, the name of the person who sent it, and then match it back. Yeah. Because when you're, when you're in online banking, you have to put in the account number that you're paying it to. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah reconciliation ought to take place. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid. Yeah, I think they, um, they just don't have time to do that. Yeah, I think in the same article, yeah. you know, they was talking about the pins that were sent to the... um. For the assessment. Mm hmm. Yeah, so um, if you look at. It um, have the word Tracy. Tra yeah, so it gets it open. Tracy? Okay. Tracy, yeah. Pin, 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 Tracy. Tracy, right here, yeah, Tracy. T R A C Y? I don't find any article. Yes, uh, yeah. T R T R C I. Oh, that's yeah. a weird name. T R C I. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's a strange name, though. What can I my dog? Um. Yeah. Still not finding it. Didn't find it. Is the same article, right? Uh, September. The, the, I un I unused the article. Nah, you want a different article? Oh, yeah, the other article. I was sending you this article. Oh, I want to know. <laughs> I tell you, I know, I know how to search. I don't feel like you know. Dog. Alright. On WhatsApp. Yeah. Alright. You can bring um, up this article. Yeah. Right. It has you see um. Background picture, so that's why I thought it was the same thing. Ah, uh, boy, stock images. <laughs> or the same. It's on Newsday articles, so it'll be the same thing, yeah. Yeah. All right, let me see. Um, uh, share this. What are we looking for? Tracy. All right, Tracy and Nichols said the process was smooth, but she did not get to pay because she had two forms of. Two forms with two different pins and two different values for Diego Martin property. What? Okay, when they did an assessment of the value of her property, that piece of paper was carrying one pin. And when they sent for, sent for me with the value with the yearliest installments, it was carrying a different pin. They had different prices. One was carrying more than $900 and the other was carrying over 400 Same name, different pins, different price. <laughs> okay. She was told to go to <laughs> Barataya. <laughs> so you had to go to Bar. No, no. No, what then? That is a, that is a digital dumpster fire there. That is madness. Because, yeah, well, if, that, if that's the case, that means they definitely can accept online payments. Because whoever yeah. had to do the reconciling will ball. Because they have different associations, different numbers and, and all of that. I am not okay. I'm good. I good. I good. Okay. Well, then no online payment for that. I not lining up. Sorry, I can't say I'm not lining up. I don't want to line up. Yeah. <laughs> to pay property tax, I just find that taxes 
should not be difficult. Here's why. Nobody mm. wants to pay the taxes. As a government, you should be, like you see how PAYE does just take your money from your salary immediately mm. and it's gone. You yeah. Make it as easy as possible for yeah. people to pay it. If you need yeah. the tax, people don't want yeah. to do it, make it easy for them. Yeah. You know, how much, yeah. much people are going and have us like, well, it is too much. They real hustle. I really don't want to pay this, you know. That is me. Me too. That is, that is me. <laughs> I know I real, I real bad with it where yeah. I'll be like, what's the penalty? Uh, okay, I go wait till this thing online. Because, Let me tell you a story, right? So, uh, I I do a tax return in the US for 2022, right? Yeah. And I didn't do it correct. And I got a mail here in Trinidad from the IRS <laughs> two months ago stating that I owed $18. Right? <laughs> <laughs> And that, that was after all the interest I was charged. Now, owed $18. Yeah. Right? So I was able to go online, create an account with the IRS. That sound called like a digital ID thing. Yeah. And, you know, I had to create an account. I actually had to, like, get on a call with the IRS agent, hold my passport up next to my face, verify I am who I say I am. Yeah. And ask me some questions. So I talked to a real person. My account get verified, and I had a, I, I, so I have a some call a, what do you call it, boy? Where's a digital ID? More or yeah. less, you're verifying who you say you are. And with that now, I was able to go online, connect the, connect the account to my bank account and pay the $18 online. You know, so that just goes to show, if the 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 literally run me down from our next country to get to get our eighteen dollars and then make the process easy possible, yeah, possible. It, it, it wasn't like fully easy because still yeah, had to talk yeah, to yeah, him, yeah. but it was possible. Cause imagine, okay, if he was in the states, it'd be easy, but yeah, more unlikely be because he were a uh, foreigner. Yeah. They had a poor effort, and that is that is what you want to aim to do: make paying the taxes easy. If they make it online. A lot yeah, of people will not have an as issue. As I say, to make that online, it are, it probably are uh, hopes that they'll jump through to make, yeah, to do that reconciliation. I could see it. I could see it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, that's uh, I think nice they say to next year or something. I think I read somewhere they say next ha! year. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. That's that election. Is that election? Yeah. That's election almost like you telling promise. me that you're able to charge your EV at when you park up at Queen's Hall. We'll yeah. be back after the break. <laughs> <laughs> right now you're listening to Train Tech House and more than likely you know that I love technology a lot. But more so, I love teaching technology. I'm a CSEC IT and Cape Computer Science and IT teacher and I have classes that are available. So if you know anyone, any student that's looking for quality Cape Computer Science or CSEC IT classes, you can check us out at 308-8799 on WhatsApp or make it simplett.com forward slash register. You can get classes, notes, recordings, IA, SBA help everything that you could think of that will get you that one in CSEC IT so you can check us out back to the podcast EVs and charging stations and solar lights are being placed in different places let's read this Queens Hall gets EV charge stations and solar lights Three electric EV charging stations have been handed over to Queen's Hall, Port of Spain. The venue also received 11 LED and 29 solar-powered perimeter lights from National Energy and the Ministry of Energy and Energy Industries, according to a statement. Energy Minister Stuart Young spoke at the event and highlighted the importance of the project. He says this is yet another step in reducing our carbon footprint and promoting energy efficiency in public spaces. As I've stated previously, Trinidad and Tobago's energy transition in, um, involves a balance with natural gas remaining essential, while we incorporate renewable solutions to meet our international climate change obligations, simultaneously building a sustainable future for all citizens. These solar LED lights will provide Queen's Hall with energy savings up to 75% compared to the previously installed systems and is a prime example of an environmental, social, and governance initiative. Um, the EV chargers... Uh, they didn't say too much about that. They only talk about the lights, but okay, no. The joint media release said the installations of Queen's Hall complemented other projects led by National Energy, such as the EV charging stations at Presal, 
and the collaboration on solar-powered EV chargers at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine. So, the e- three EV chargers, I guess. Um, I haven't seen anything more about the EV chargers. They spend more time talking about lights. He spoke, or he spoke of the government's vision for a clean transportation and EV integration through championing initiatives such as VAT exemptions for electric vehicles, um, which I'm strongly considering right now. Um, but yeah, they didn't talk about the EV stations. If you have three EV stations at Queen's Hall, can you just drive into Queen's Hall and charge for free? Or is it for people who come to watch a show? Or is it just a show generally? <laughs> because um, they didn't do any like market research or anything to determine where's the best place to put an EV charger or anything of that sort. Like, what's the, what's the point? I, I mean, I kind of putting the card before the horse, you know, or whatever that's saying is in terms of, yeah, it's good that they put on the inf- infrastructure in place, but kind of like what we spoke about the other day, for, for you to really say you're meeting a sustainable development goals and climate, making an impact on climate change and whatever, you need, you need EV, you need electric vehicles, you, you know, you need that, that conversion, you, you know, and for that conversion to happen, it ought to be accessible to not just people who, who probably could afford it, but it need to be more accessible to regular, regular people for it to really say you're making some type of done. Cause a lot of the EVs on the market right now, you know, it's not really accessible in terms of the cost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the, the, the plug-in EVs, um, because it have a lot of hybrids selling yeah, and but people buying hybrids like crazy. But yeah, what's, what's happened with the hybrid? The engine, the engine has charged up the battery, right? Yes, it's still, it's still fuel to extent, you know, but yeah. if you want to go full electric EV, yeah. you know, and the penetration is eh, eh, really too good. On it, so I mean, it's a it's well, a okay. Like the, like, like the EV side, we we, mm. we realize the EV part is most likely slightly gimmickish or just okay, let like me just tack this on because it will make the UN happy, right? So, mm. when you do your report and you say, Um, European Union, do you want to give us some money? Um, yeah, we have EV charging stations, yeah, okay, cool, give Trinidad something, right? Yeah. Um, but the solar lights, however, what was I just gonna say? Good. I was gonna say even even with the hybrids, most of the hybrids we bring in, is not plug-in hybrids, you know. So all it's all, are, all of them are not plug-in hybrids. It right. So have, even yeah, no plug-in hybrids. Yeah, it won't really. <laughs> yeah. You if, know who it will help call them in both to the EV. <laughs> <laughs> what can you have? I think I did it. Some. Uh, Tesla? Let me just see, let me just see, let me just see. Okay, cool you don't know anything. Yeah, because yeah. a letter might come. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, was, yeah, lovely. they talk about the solar part, right? Yeah. I find, like, they're taking real long to come up with this solar plan that TN Tech was supposed to do. I don't know, since we started the oh, podcast, so that might be yeah, two years I'm now. Lot. Yeah, I, 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 probably over two years now. We talking yeah. about this. Where there is a incent, it is incentivized to people to put solar, and T and Tech will allow you to do the net metering or whatever thing you have to put in place to yeah. allow you to connect your house to the grid and still have solar at the same time. So in, what in I will tell you is, yeah. wait for at least four weeks when they do the new budget, and you'll probably hear something about it again. <laughs> that is so disgusting. <laughs> that that real disgusting. No, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why it's real disgusting. Because in the budget, they will say such and such, such and such, blah blah blah, gonna get implemented. And then when you really check the implementation time, they say gonna be implemented next year, next yeah. year March or next year, and not a soul as follow up on it yep. to say yeah. Because I remember they do that at a time with some sort of um, online shopping and some taxes or some kind of thing that was supposed to happen. I think it was. Phones or, yeah, phones were supposed to stop getting tax. I don't know which budget that was, but I was at some point in time before COVID. 
Yeah. And he made, he said that in a big way. And I was like, yeah, boy, I go and start to bring in phones to people like crazy. And when I do bring any phone and I still get tax, they say, nah, that's starting from January. And then when January come, you're yeah. asking these skybox men and them, okay, so what going on with it? It's like, now nah, we ain't hear nothing about it, boy. They ain't, impl- they ain't implement any tax yet. But the time they had to implement online purchase tax, however, yep. the next Swift. day, boom, <laughs> online purchase tax. Anything you buy. Things I was still in the, uh, things I had waiting in, in, um, yeah. in, your, in your skybox, all of a sudden, you're just seeing this, this online put this 7% add on to it one time because, of course, they're not going to absorb that for you. So, yeah, waiting for the budget to hear about that. I just, I think the solar thing, it it had to have some problem that, that we can't see, which is TN Tech meters not capable of reading the flow of energy the other way or something. Because mm. I checked this out thoroughly. Yeah? When I say thoroughly in terms of YouTube videos, right? Mm. Um, what the, the, the net meter means that your meter does normally spin one direction, right? Yeah. That means you're drawing from the grid. In America, the meter does just spin the other direction when you're pushing current back to the grid. Mm. And it has some countries, like um, I think Holland, Sweden, one of them Scandinavian countries, Let's tell people, yeah, there's a cap of how much money you could feed back into the grid because the electricity, the electricity company not going to pay you money. Yeah, they yeah. just they just going to get your bill down to zero. And anytime your bill going to negative, they're not going to pay you money for contributing to the grid because, well, that would be bad business for them. So they literally tell people, yeah, you all have to stop sending current back to the grid because the electricity company can't handle it anymore. Because mm. them have so much solar and so much wind farms and renewable energy that the country essentially the houses themselves sustain the power grid mm-hmm. and the electricity company had no job to do again because they don't have to burn no coal they don't have to burn no natural gas they don't have to do anything because everybody just self-sufficient which i understand that we will take us a long time to get to that point in yeah, any but... way form or fashion right but all i want to know is allow people to get their solar yeah. And connect to the grid. Well, legally. Because I know a few people who have... Okay, I've heard of a few people. I don't know anybody. Don't come and knock on my door, right? I've heard of a few people who have their solar and it is connected to the grid. Mm. And it just... it just The, the solar just adds to the current that coming inside. Yeah. But it's not a... It's not a... What's the word, boy? It's not a, a connection that you, you'll pass inspection with. Hmm. you ain't gonna pass inspection but from wherever if you have that because of the breaker and all that kind of drama so yeah. talking about these solar lights and saying okay um the queen's hall going to have 75 percent less energy usage because of it is because them lights outside you could literally take them off of the grid and put the solar on and them lights will just function and you don't have any connection back to the actual main breaker in Queen, Queen's Hall. So lights are easy, easy way to just put your solar. But it have people out there that want to power the fridge now, you know? And they yeah. stove and they if they if you have cameras or whatnot. So I I was toying with the idea of taking my cameras off of the um the green and yeah, powered yeah, solar. Good. And powered mm-hmm. solar only. So that we know if current go on your cameras will still work and and all of that. And fine and then, Wi-Fi. Yeah, Wi-Fi and and well, yeah, I don't know if the Wi-Fi will go down if the service provider don't have power and they like the um substation or whatever it is. But I was talking about the well, idea. Yeah. Yeah, now it's a lot of times power go, yeah, mm, and yeah. well, uh, it, the Wi Fi and the UPS. And the UPS, so, yeah, it's still so working. So get a little, yeah, yeah. as long as the UPS don't die, as our Wi Fi still. Yeah, I I think about that because I find it taking real long, and mm. I I I personally willing to save up plenty money to put the solar on, so that. I don't really have to depend on T and tech. Yeah. But then the economics of it is what I feel why it's taking so long. 
because then TNT could get less money. Yeah, I mean it's the economics too, and plus as a lot that that would be a relatively big change, you know, and it would be a big project for TNT to to call. They they would have to certify it, but who would actually do the do the work? You would have to hire like homeowners or whatever will have well, hire persons to come in and do the just like just like any work that you do on your house any electrical work that you do on your house you're supposed to get inspected yeah. by TN Tech and most electricians did well okay the good not the good electricians the the bigger electricians they will tell you yeah after we do this we had to apply for um for our inspection mm-hmm. and you will be like but why um because if something go wrong in your house and it have an electrical fire or something like that, and they come and investigate and they see that your wiring was poor, and then you jump out and be like, yeah, the man that wire my house is that fellow over there. And yeah. that fellow over there like, bro, you killing my business right now. So mm-hmm. some of the bigger ones, they don't do it. They don't do any work unless they, they sign up. And the inspection, it not really cost that much. They just kind of wrap it into the course, and then they have the inspectors on speed dial too. Right, that's our problem. You know how <laughs> this place does operate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's give my. I'll, all right, let me not go into that. But yeah, that's give my thing. I'll come and inspect that. Yeah, in ten minutes. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> I I know what you're talking about because I know somebody who built a house. Yeah, and the inspector get them real. They jam them real hard for all kind of weird things. Like yeah. the inspector say. You must have a plug in your bathroom with a eight e what do you what do you switch thing? The kind of switch that has yeah, yeah, on it, on it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you must have a plug in your bathroom. And he was like, But what if I I build the house, right? It's my house. I do not want to have a plug in my bathroom. The inspector was like, No, you must have a plug in your bathroom and it must have the particular switch on it. I go down failure. And I was like, that's that's so vindictive. That's so, that's so painful because the the um the inspectors they hold a little um power. Yeah, they hold a little power. Now when they give when they give a man some power, it then um <laughs> it could either go two ways. They use it to help or they use it to break down. And that same thing I feel happened with the solar. Yeah, it's a it's a. It's a project that they, they need to put resources behind. And I'm not sure if they actually put any resources behind. Because as I say, they would have to come and do the inspections or whatever. And there's a whole... Might but be this, a, the big solar park that they now put by the airport, mm-hmm. what are powering? Most likely lights too, you know. I feel so. Yeah. I feel where, that is power. Where, where was that? That's... Piaco? Oh, yeah. Pia- I know Piaco, but where? That's like after you pass the airport going car on your side? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Where the old airport was. Okay, oh, okay, I can't, okay. I'm not, I can't say for sure. Sorry, I'm, I, I, I presume, I've been presumptuous there. But I know, I know you can't see anything, anything solar wise when you're driving to the airport from the highway. So it had to be somewhere in the back. Mm. Um, that's what I'm seeing. Solar farm, um, Piaco. Let's see if Google might be able to blah, 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 blah. No. Oh, yeah, it's it, it, it on the map. Piaco International Airport Solar Park. It is... No, it's in the front. Yeah. So as soon as you turn, as soon as you come to the roundabout to turn in by the airport to make the lap, Mm-hmm. It's in the middle. It's not big then. That's not much sure. All right, so this is it. See now, eh? So this is the wrong about to turn in by the airport. You turn yeah. in there? Right, yeah. And this way, it's park up to wait when people land. <laughs> when the record has uh, come for you. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. I saw something in a cars in the airport a couple yeah. weeks ago. Okay, yeah, so it's not really not big. I thought it was bigger than that, you know, honestly. Wow. Okay. 
I swear some huge solar, solar farm we have, I... The um, park, like, like a playground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that probably power in the lights. Yeah. Probably. Well, thank God, thank God for Google Maps. We have that there. Um, yeah, I want solar. I want solar real bad. And if you see when you see when um Stuart Young does give this kind of talk about as a balance between natural gas um and then trying to meet your climate change obligations and whatnot, does does get me scared because that means they say to themselves. Yeah, man, it's our natural gas. Let me, um, let me make sure we use it now, you know, before we try to not use the natural gas. <laughs> and, and basically, I, so I don't think like, we have any, I don't know, I don't want to go into doom and gloom, but I don't think we have any solid plans beyond natural gas and beyond the oil industry for China, I don't know, in terms of, all our sources are income or GDP or whatever. I don't think we are any. You know, we, I I hear diversify the income since I small. <laughs> <laughs> diversify the economy. I mean, you know, I hear that since yeah, I small yeah, and it's yeah. still in it now. <laughs> so beyond oil, I don't know. Well, yeah, you know, yeah, we ain't, we ain't gonna go into the political part of it, but. Yeah, that balance, that balancing thing. The seesaw still leaning heavy on one side, heavily yeah. on one side. I mean, we had a pray could could probably find some oil field somewhere offshore that on top. No, no, all of the, all of them oil <laughs> companies like bro, we we suck every every one of them yeah. feels dry. Um, the only thing all they might have is natural gas, and that is the Venezuelan the dragon field thing that yeah. that causes real controversy because. Nobody wants to be Venezuela friend except Trinidad because they need the money. Yeah. And yeah, that natural gas thing. In 10 years, it gonna run out. And in 10 years, sorry, in seven years, they will now come out with the solar um, incentive and then want to be giving people a free solar panel. Like how they was giving out a free light bulb. You remember that? Hmm. <laughs> One light bulb, you know. And I was like, Oh, that's so insulting. So insulting. You went, went further. No, you mad or? Uh-huh. <laughs> I gonna get a light bulb to, to yeah. prove that I could, you know, use less energy. Well, okay, if you want to use less energy, give me a solar panel or yeah. allow me to get solar panels and put it up. And the thing is, there's a, it have a, a big boom of solar, used solar panels are going to start to come just now from, from China, right? Because them check, technology moving so fast that they have newer solar panels that have higher efficiency. Right now, the highest mm-hmm. efficiency on our solar panels is like 20%. They, they now stand a crack like 22% and 23%. So people with their old solar panels will be like, well, time to switch out for a higher efficiency one. Guess where them solar panels going to go to? In a container and come to a third world country. Yeah. And and we gonna be like, hey, use um slightly use solar panels just like foreign use cars. Get these and put them up. And I so wanna be saying is that a good business to invest in man. I promise you it'll be a good business <laughs> business to invest in. If I had the wherewithal to get into that kind of business, but yeah. you see me and containers and shipping, <laughs> I I, I, me on the port is not, yeah. not friends. I, <laughs> to get into that business, you need friends. Yeah. Not, not friends with the, at, with the port, but friends at the port. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Correct. I like how you say difference between with and at, because yeah. the few barrels I had to clear in my time, I've seen what the friends can do. Yep. I've seen what the friends <laughs> can do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What uh, what else I've seen? What, what else have we seen that could be done is um taking a picture with your phone. Apple just decided nobody needs um uh nobody needs a physical SIM tray or anything. Let's give them a button that allows them to take photos with the feeling of I have so much to say about this. We're coming back after the break. 
Well, because you're listening to this podcast, more than likely you know how to order things online already. But if you know somebody who doesn't know how to order things online and you probably just fed up having to order things for them and you want them to be able to get a little more self-sufficient with respect to ordering things online, yeah, we have a service called Order It where you can send the links and we order it for you and we deliver it straight to you. So if it's somebody who is not technologically savvy, doesn't have a credit card and they want to order things online, hey, send them to us. 308-8799 on WhatsApp and we'll be able to help them order it and save you the trouble of having to buy things for them. Back to the podcast. You have an iPhone. Yeah. And, you, well, you clearly say that you don't change iPhones unless you have to, and you... Yeah, well, yeah. well I ain't gonna lie again to that point, you know. My battery right now is like 78%. Boy, it are men, it are people who are running with battery life, life rating of 50-something percent. All right, it's 77 now. Wow, must be nice. The iPhone got a new camera control button. So what more do you want? This is Tech Reader. Um, here's what happens. The camera button will open the camera. I think. This is a sarcastic article. Right now, my action button opens my iPhone 15 Pro Max camera, but I will soon use my 16 Pro Max. Okay. So you open up the camera, and then there's this capacitive... Um, ability to swipe left and swipe right and tap it because it's a physical button that is able to be pressed, right? Like you could actually press it down and it will click. But there is also a tap and swipe kind of kind of thing to it, right? Mm-hmm. Did this move you in any way? Like zero percent. Did this? Because like now looking at it, looking at it, right? How do most people take pictures? Portrait or landscape? Portrait right. mode. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, correct. To, to use and that you phone. Tap screen, to, yeah, to, yeah. yeah, to use that button, you need to be in landscape mode, right? I saw I saw a video with somebody using it with their thumb. So they was kind of holding it like this and they had to and tap. Yeah, but that's here. weird. Because yeah, that's like the, quite the, weird. Shutter bu- the shutter button, like right in the middle here, yeah, that's to yeah. take a regular photo. Yeah, yeah it way so easier it's to like tap, that. So, so that one thing, the portrait mode experience, is called that, right, that way to be, have your yeah. finger like this to take a picture when you could just tap in the middle of your phone here. Yeah. Or you could tap your volume button up yeah. here. Yeah, that's that's what a lot of people was arguing about. Like, didn't the volume button do that for us already? Yeah, and like, say you want to do a zoom and whatever. Like, just angling your thumb finger across so slide like, it up or down. And, yeah, yeah, versus, yeah. Versus like, I'm not going Sli- to the camera. Using some sort of software. V- v- to, versus like this. Yeah, that's zoom yeah. Like that. Slide to the left or the right, yeah. 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 What... But what they're trying to do, what they're trying to create is a, um, a euphoria, a something. I, no, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Like they, they took away the headphone, the headphone port, and every yeah. Android phone followed, and then they, they took away the SIM card. And then Android phone. Okay, I don't think much Android phones start to follow that way. You could only use eSIMs. Um, I don't know if people go and follow this way. Because yeah, Sony nah. had it. Sony, Sony had it before, but I mean. Like, all right, uh, for you, what's, what is your use case? All right, how, right, like right now, how do you open the camera app? And do you I'll, see this I'll giving double tap a better my, experience? I am a... Uh, power button double tapper so when i want to open my camera i just double tap the power button and the camera is open instantly because that's that's a, that's a feature on android phones right and mm-hmm. since i find that out people just be like how oh, you open your camera so fast i'll be like you just double tap the power button and they're like way people right. will be fiddling swiping up and all them kind of thing and once i open up double tap that power button i just either tap in the tap in the thing in the center because a pixel will just be like take a picture no 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 fight it right and if i want to do a video as hold down the camera shutter button and record the video in for for a short video if i ever have to do a long video i'll actually swipe left to go to the video section but it's very rare 
that I go and record a video and press record. Most times, you just hold down the shutter button because mm-hmm. it's only like 10 seconds of some moment that you want to get. So for me to turn my phone sideways and press that button for the and I, I could imagine the amount of false positives that are going to happen when you when you put your phone in your bag or your pocket or something so and that button get pressed and your camera come on when you take your phone out you're going to see the camera interface on yeah. unless you you because it's opening from your lock screen and that's dangerous yeah and like yeah. on your yeah. iPhone you just press from your lock screen and have a button yeah. you just press and you go straight to right camera. Yeah, same thing on Android phone. You could get to the camera like this and by... What I was talking about yeah. a little earlier before we start, you know, if you have a case on your phone, how are you well, using we even get We even reached to that part, right? Yeah, so did the people have a case, right? You might not have a little cutout here and it's flat. And then it will look huge. ugly. It will look real ugly because it's a capacitive button that, that I have to swipe, swipe left and right. So you can't just put a cutout you need to have like the ability to slide. And if you put a cutout, that's, that's more like a hole. Because imagine it's an utter box. And they put a cutout there. You cast you cast swipe left yeah, and right. Yeah, yeah, your, yeah. your finger will get lost inside the um the abyss of the canyon that will be created because you had to get to this button. Yeah. And more they might be able to do is actually just press it. Because the swiping part will work. Now I'm not sure. I don't know. But I am... Um, Worry. Uh, I, unless I it's worry. one of those lunatics who does just use a phone without a case. That's that's high functioning um serial killers, but like like <laughs> you, you know, using your phone without a case. How dare you? Yeah. yeah. Um and other than that, Apple had nothing to say about their phone besides the Apple intelligence stuff, which it's just AI, which is just which chat is ChatGPT. Yeah, ChatGPT being paid for in the background, and uh, there are some people that are going to argue for this, and they'll be like, "No, this makes taking a photo so much more realistic, and camera, um, camera officials will be trying their yeah, best." Yeah, I mean, uh, I think with this. You know, you know. Normally, you get something. It's an any new thing. You'll you'll have a little curiosity and be like, "Hey, let me let me use it for like a couple of weeks." And after a while, when you, when it things flatline and you get into regular use, yeah, you go and let's forget about it. Um, this is going to be in Vision Pro territory, you know. Like yeah. the, the, they didn't see the try to sneak in Vision Pro in one of the ads talking about um Siri or Apple intelligence. Oh, it was really? good. Yeah, it thought of some. I was like, what is this for? I didn't. I probably didn't pay attention, but it is in Vision Pro territory where people just use it for the first few weeks, but they can't return it. But they'll just use it for the first few weeks, and then they just go back to normal. Because there's no way I could see somebody that custom taking their photos with their finger on their screen other than greasy fingered people or some kind of thing where you have to use the physical button. But even when your finger's greasy or something, people are just use the volume button. Mm-hmm. They just be like, aim a finger, can't touch. Okay, just press the volume button. It's like okay. I would use the volume button like if I take in a selfie. That when I would use the volume button. So yeah. if I... But, but yeah, if it down here, that more awkward than just doing this. <laughs> if it's a, like, a size, a size unless, of unless it, unless it, like, here, fit here. Here, for those of y'all who are listening, he, he's basically trying to figure out what is the, the, um. Location. Yeah, the, no, not the, uh, no location, the, the points now, the, what is it, what is it, term he has used, boy? The, the 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 perfect position and the the so the the sweet spot yeah the sweet spot yeah it can't yeah, be too sweet. low down on the phone also you know yeah but my thing hand kind of hand not small yeah the sweet spot now nah, it it Probably just not 
Because it, it, you, yeah, because you hold it in portrait mode. It's built to be held in landscape yeah, mode. And, and I, there are I, z- I, yeah, I don't ever humans. take a picture like this. Unless it's um, like, yeah, I don't really take pictures like this. When have I ever taken landscape a picture mode. like that? I take a picture in landscape mode for group shots, like when my scouts finish marching and then they take a picture of them, pick, take a picture of the whole group. I'll be like, all right, everybody come together. We have a picture to take. And that has be our whole production. You go to the left, you go to the right, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And even when that happen, I still take about seven because somebody, I will always be blinking. Yeah. But I was like once every few months. Yeah. Majority and, of pictures is portrait. Yeah. And, and the majority of the teenagers, they'll be taking selfies. And yeah. nobody going to take a selfie and try to make their finger angle so that they press it right there. They'll just press it on the screen because it's just easier. Yeah. Who sit down around the, um, the, the executive table and said, this is what we're going to do on the next iPhone? I is know. it that? I mean, the, the, and, the, the, and the iPhone 15 had a new button, like an action button. Action button, yeah. Which and could, could have probably did the same thing. The action button. Yeah, <laughs> the action button did the exact same thing. All they do is make the action button capacitive now. Yeah, but I think so, they still have the action button and this button as well. You, for real? Nah, I think so. I, you sure? Or did they, they, they replace it? Um, I don't know. We need to go to right the now. source. Apple. <laughs> I don't know. Action button. Does the uh, the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus will have two new buttons that unlock the features. The first is called the action button. It's small and will be located on the side of the phone. Above the buttons you use to turn up the volume up and down. So, yeah. Um, okay. So, there's an action button and a camera button. Yep. Yeah, I've seen it. It's on the side with the volume. The arm. Um, with the volume. And yeah. the, the new camera button is where the sim used to be. So... Adding to adding new, new buttons to the phone is basically why I take out the headphone jack. Uh, uh, I thought it was supposed to be like a minimalist. I thought the goal was to be minimalist now, but okay. Steve Jobs turn in any grave. Yeah, happened. yeah, yeah. That that's the um that's the that's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> um I don't No, I mean what happened to is a return. Our point is like what else you could really do with a phone, you know, to to innovate, to bring, you know, to bring new eyeballs or to, you know, that's something new. Because, I mean, our iPhone, well, this is a 12, and it look more or less just like the, the 16. You know, same three cameras, same form factor. You know, there's really anything new. They might they add the USB-C and whatever, but it's, it look the same. The camera is probably a little bigger, but it's like... Yeah. I don't know. The writing kind of on the wall a little bit for them. I feel they just feel any pinch. I, I don't think the writing on the wall. I think Apple, you know, let's call it a cult. Because, I think yeah, Apple... Well, <laughs> yeah. But, I think people who locked in, they locked in. And, you know, it's pro- it probably have a mixture of people like me who just... Wait till the phone died then to upgrade or it happy people, mm-hmm. especially in the US, where you could like upgrade every year and just pay a small fee or something like that. So you know they're locked into the whole ecosystem. Mm. <laughs> I good. <laughs> I good. Anybody come and try to justify that camera button to me? I is a long time since I ain't getting a, 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 a fight discussion with an Apple user because yeah. I don't bother anymore. But nobody, nobody could come and try to justify that camera button to me. You know what? I don't think, I don't think people are going to buy the iPhone because it's our camera button. It's just like a, a little added bonus. Hey, it look like this new feature here you could use or whatever. I don't think people are going to be flocking just because it have a new camera button. They're not going to definitely not going to convert anybody. It's just like a 
little nice nice to have feature that they may or may not use. I don't think it's like a selling point. The Apple intelligence. So then why they spend so much time talking about it? I don't know, marketing. <laughs> the try you know, part part two is part two is, you know, you would it it it, it will ask certain things you might wanna you will get hyped about, you'll look forward to it. You know, you you would enjoy it for like two seconds or two weeks and after that is like the hype died on. So the whole thing is just trying to hype people up. Hey, look at this shiny new feature. And they will catch some people. Some people will get catch and be like, hey, I have this iPhone, I have this new feature. But a lot of people will just see through it and it will just be a matter. You don't need an iPhone anyway. And it has this new feature there that... I I got I rest my case. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank, yeah thank I, you. I like me. I have iPhone 12 and I have 11. I know I'm going, I'm not going to pay to get an iPhone because I thought it's camera button. I would upgrade, like as I say, before my battery started, I hit 50. <laughs> I didn't know it could hit 50%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you, buy them, when, you, when you buy them off eBay, you get them with 50%. Yeah. If my battery started, hit. Cool, like I saw the charge my phone multiple times a day now. If it started to hit Yikes. like sixty percent or anything, then nah, I'll be nah, like, nah. yeah. Battery on my Pixel status well and it kinda pushed the screen up. And I changed the battery for myself. And I in La La Land right now. Day and a half, sometimes two days. And I just like, wait now, this is the glory days. This is how it used to be. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I guess ba- battery, your battery, um, not taking long to charge is usually the biggest. No, well, no running out too fast is usually the biggest reason that people has um change phones. Mm-hmm. And storage, I just clean up my phone. How much you on two fifty six? This yeah, I think so. And you running out of storage? Wow, you taking uh, probably videos of your daughter. Yeah, yeah, from like, like four years of videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you when you turn at our at our stage, <laughs> your storage could take. No, 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 no. There's our is our one twenty eight, now two fifty six. Oh yeah, all right, yeah. That's 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 wild. I think I'd buy when I buy my pixel, I was like, I buy the bullet and I buy the two fifty six because I was saying, Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one for five years. And I think on year three right now, yeah, this is yeah, they I have like four, right now, yeah. four gigs free. <laughs> Living dangerously, boy. Yep. Living dangerously. All right, y'all, that's it for us today. Let's um recap what we went through. We spoke about um why you can't pay property tax online and the kind of technical implications for it and why it must be hard because implementing such a technology could be difficult if you don't have the right backend systems. Um, we're getting some EV charging stations, but really it's more about solar lighting in Queen's Hall. I guess the people that go to Queen's Hall use EV, EVs. No, no, no. We'll just say yes. Um, and wire camera button, Apple, wire camera button, which is what we just discussed. So we want to thank you very much, everybody, for listening to all the way to the end. Those of you who are locked in, you are locked in for a reason because you apparently think our podcast is worth listening to and for those of y'all who listen it to listen to it on 1.5 speed well done well done because i have found value in listening to the pod um people's podcast on like now 1.5 it's like 1.1 or 1.2 yeah so our long podcasts again through in like you know 50 minutes or something like that <laughs> so i us get more podcasts in because of it now yeah. yeah. So no, don't forget I, to I share. Like to, uh, uh. I like to listen it in its entirety because when I listen to podcasts, I just do it either while I'm driving yeah. or pro- if, I, if I'm doing a workout. Yeah. And I know you want to do it as 45 I tell, minutes. Or I whatever. tell somebody that I was like, when I when I run in as we listening to podcasts, and he'd be like, you could exercise and listen to our podcast as yeah. it, I knew it. That podcast more engaging than any music that I could listen to. Yeah. And, and they was like, and no, like, I have. Yeah, you're killing two birds at once, though. Yeah, they're like, I have to listen to Soka. I'd be like, you mad? Or that turn really helped me. Yeah. I, 
I going in and I and I engrossed. I to the point where this week I listened to our podcast while I was running. Uh, I was doing some quality control. Yeah, and yeah, while yeah. while listening to it, I still laughing at the same things that we was laughing at anything. I was like, haha, chuckle, chuckle. Like, wait, yeah, okay. Even I just cutting the lawn and washing the car, I was listening yeah. to the podcast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Was like, uh, I need something to keep my company. Yeah. And that's I, 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 I being agree. lost in my thoughts. Something yes. I like to be lost in my thoughts. But yeah, and you just kind of zone in and out of the podcast. Like when they're talking about something, sometimes it'll spark a thought and you just go into the thought and you zone back into like, what are you talking about now? Okay, cool. Yeah. And it's kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me there. So all you podcast listeners who listening right now, yeah, share it with your other podcast listeners if you know that they exist. And um, we'll see you all the next week until we find something else to talk about with technology wise and if you are somebody who has any insight on te- in technology and you hear us talking about something that you might be able to chime in and help us with the understanding of it yes you public servants who is be dragging all the time about technology in the public service if you could come and tell us how technology is used in the public service we will retract all of our statements all <laughs> okay not all but we will we will, we will we will speak we will speak to you nicely we'll talk to you nice and yeah see that all right so that's it y'all that's it for another trini tech cast my name is andre charles at make it simple tt on the internet and interwebs it's um a few tiktok videos went up this week and they got a hundred views and i don't care and <laughs> <laughs> that's on the podcast um, yeah, podcast clips. One of one or two of the podcast clips get like a hundred views because well, nothing get posted on TikTok for about a month. Okay. So okay. it probably had a build back up some sort of like, oh yeah, this exists again. And then I have some produced TikTok videos that have to go up this week, which I don't really expect too much from because Terrence exists. And, <laughs> and I could. All right, so that's me. And my co-host is... Akim Deer from Red Button of Score Tech. No, nothing else needs to be said. That's <laughs> it. We'll get there. All right. <laughs> All right, so later. Have a great week and we'll see you next week.